How to Feed a Loon. I'm Chris. And I'm Wesley. <laughs> the, the loon. <laughs> the loon. Oh, lean and loon. Yeah. Folks, we're excited because we pulled out one of our favorite kitchen appliances. We got our air fryer. We're doing things a little healthier today. We're taking one of our favorite iconic chicken dishes yes. and we're doing a little bit of a spin. Yes. What are we doing? We're doing our air, air fryer cordon bleu meatloaf with creamy mushroom sauce. <laughs> did you get that? I hope you did. That's a lot of mouthful, but Woo, it's going to be a mouthful Lord. of deliciousness. Yes. So let's get started. So it's, it's, it's funny that you say we're being healthy, but I don't know. We how are. I mean, this. we're we're not deep frying it. We're, we're using. We're going it. chicken. Yeah. It's okay. it's good. I mean, we're 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 making it healthier. Let's there just say that. Go. Okay. So let's jump right into this. Yes. It's a meatloaf, and it's. Oh, it's just so good. Okay, yes. so we're going to start off. We got um, this is a pound and a half of ground chicken, delicious. And to that, I am going to add one whole egg. Mm -hmm. I'm just diving right into it. it. And then we've got a quarter cup of chopped onion, yum. And then we've got two cloves of garlic that I've minced. Um, this is one of my favorite things. It's you know, it's cordon bleu, so we've got to use Dijon, <laughs> Dijon mustard. A little Dijon. Does your dog a bite? A cordon bleu. It's bleu. Does your dog a bite? That's <laughs> not my dog. <laughs> anyway, we digress. Um, <laughs> delicious. Okay, so that was two tablespoons of Dijon. If you, I just love it. Yes. Oh, it's got a little bite to it. Yes. Um, these, these are panko breadcrumbs. They're Japanese breadcrumbs. They're fantastic. They give a little extra texture. I love That's a quarter it. cup there. And then we've got some fresh parsley. You're going to need three tablespoons in total. Of two tablespoons are going to go into the meatloaf, and then you need about another tablespoon just to garnish the beautiful Yes. Thing. And then we've got a half a teaspoon of kosher salt, and then we've got a nice healthy pinch of black pepper. Okay, now right. what we're going to do is I'm just going to start incorporating this and fully get this incorporated. Yes. And while you do that, how many times can I say incorporate? So, <laughs> while um, you incorporate yes, that. Yes, I'm going I'm going to be over here incorporating. And what are you going <laughs> to do? I'm making a little sling that we're going to use so that we can carefully set that uh, meatloaf into the basket. Yes. Um, we're doing a, we're doing two slings. Yeah, just to it's be a be double slingshot. Just to be extra safe. Just to be extra safe. Yeah, because and let me tell you, I'll just say the reason that we're doing that, you've probably <laughs> seen us do this with, with our Instant Pot. Um, it's just, you know, the meatloaf, it's, it's going to be super tender and it's going to be juicy and it's not so difficult getting it into the basket of the um, air fryer, but it's when you out when you basket. remove it, you don't want it to break and all. Yeah. So this just helps facilitate totally. it. So what did you do? I did my slings. Whoa, how, did you show them how you did <laughs> yes. it? Yes. So I had two sheets of aluminum, aluminum foil. That's a hard word. I know. Turns and I just off. folded one side and then the other side and then I made like a little belt. Oh. Cool. Yes, very simple. Okay, so nice. So now, folks, we are moving right along. So this is so much fun. Do it down here so you can roll towards to the make or roll it that way. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. He's like my little uh, <laughs> PE coach. <laughs> Your PE. Coach. Well, like in PE, well, like you're not doing that right, yes. Long. Well, yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. That's hysterical. Okay. So now what we're going to do is what if you'll notice here, this is a piece of wax paper that is going to help you. Uh, these are a few tricks. What do they call these little hacks that are going to yes. make these make this whole process easier? Yeah. And you're going to um, get a little messy. This this mixture is a little uh, sticky to the touch, yes. but that's okay. Make sure, um, yeah, make sure you get it even all over the place. Okay. Long well. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> uh, okay. Thanks, Coach. Okay. Um, all right. So now you see what we've done. That's that probably about great. an eight by twelve. So now, yes. as in cordon bleu fashion, we are going to load this up. Yes. So we start with. Yeah, kind of. All right, just do it do in the middle, there. in the m middle, because we're gonna seal oh, the end. Oh, no, 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 in the middle. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna grab some. Oh, just oh, okay. There you go. Yeah, yeah. You want to leave. You want to leave a little perimeter, you know, so you can seal. Fabulous. So this is. Uh, these are just thinly sliced. Uh, Black Forest Virginia ham. Mm -hmm. Get that from your deli. And then we've got some slices Swiss. of Swiss cheese, which is just which beautiful. Is, it's going to melt perfectly. Which is, yes, which is classic for the Cordon Bleu, which yeah. goes in the middle of a chicken breast normally. Exactly. And not a meatloaf. Exactly. Well, it's a, it's a Cordon Bleu meatloaf. Yes. And so, um, so this, you know, I, I would say anywhere from six to eight slices. You know, you're going to, yeah. it depends on the size of your slices. And save okay. a slice for yourself. Save a slice for yourself. Okay. <laughs> now, or Flo, who just joined yeah. 
this. <laughs> she knows cheese. I know. You hear it. You hear it, and she opens it up. There okay. So now what or this? She hears the, it. The trick of this wax paper is it's just going to help you roll it because, it, like I said, it's it's a little wet. And I'm like the, an audience member. Yeah. With my cheese, my uh, popcorn. An audience member who li loves to contribute. Okay. Um, so now you that see, looks great. and then what you do, <laughs> thank her, and then how's that cheese? Mm. And so now what you do as you're rolling, you just kind of back. pull the paper away from you, mm -hmm. and your fingers may get a little sticky. That's mm -hmm. why it's important to have, you know, a sink nearby because this is raw poultry, so you're gonna not want to spread the, right. spread any bacteria. But look wow, at that! Isn't that go. nice? That's so beautiful. Now I, again, my fingers, my hands are clean here. Yep. Um, you're gonna so, pinch the ends. You're gonna pinch your ends, um, and just I mean that's really per now. You sometimes when I've done this before, I mean this is really great the yeah. way it is. Uh, sometimes you may see some of that ham um, kind of sticking through. If so it is, you just some, yeah, smooth it over. Out. And um, okay, now this is always the the, fun, the part. fun part. And you're go. just gonna have to get your hands keep rolling, in there. Keep rolling. Pull that away. You may need to get you get go. your loon. Oh wait. Oh okay. There you go. This way. There okay, you go. we're gonna do that. And you gotta put the other one down yeah. too. Oh, right. Sorry. Okay. Okay, here we people. go. Okay. Now, get this your loon to help. Yeah, get your, your you may need a loon, your own version of your loon. God help you. Um, well, that's to, a nice looking loaf. It Look is. That's that. a great looking loaf. Make sure that it's not too long, that it doesn't fit into the basket. So people. that's a good, so so the width of these slings, you don't want them to be, the first time we did this, we did them the really wide because we, we really wanted to be able to maneuver this well. But as you know, in your air fryer, Air fryer is really just a super duper awesome convection oven, which means it's circulating all yes. this hot air, and that's what cooks it and cooks it really nice. I and love it quickly. Um, so if you cover all those holes up, it's just going to impede that air from moving around. So I've got chickeny fingers. So can yeah. you do that? Yep. Um, Step I can... back. Okay. Step back. All right. Are you sure? Yes. Flo is here to help. If I am positive. Okay. So I'm going to grab it from this end, and I'm going to grab it from this end. And I'm just gonna loop it in right here. Beautiful. And I'm gonna keep these down in it. Yeah. Just so that I can pull it out. Yeah. There you go. There you go. Wonderful. I can't believe I'm standing here. I should have. I normally would. There's have. a rag right there. Where is it? It's underneath your. Um, oh right. Okay. Things there. Okay. Okay. So All this right. will go into the wash immediately. Okay. So now so. I'm gonna stick this in here. All right. Locked it up. Locked and loaded. I'm gonna turn this into the on. dirty. Uh, hamper. And then I'm going to set this for, what is it, 370 or 350? Do it at uh, 375. Okay. So I'm setting my temperature at 375, and then I'm going to set my time at 20 minutes. Now I'm going to hit go. And that's just going to start us. So, I mean, normally this would take, a, you know, quite a while in, in the oven or in the skillet, however you would make your cordon bleu. But yeah. this is going to cook this meatloaf so beautifully. Obviously, if you're doing a beef meatloaf in the oven, that's like an hour, hour and a half. Right. Um, so it's a fraction of the amount of time. It's so good. So what we're... So what we're going to do next is I'm going to show, we're going to top it with, we're not just finished with that because we've got a couple of things. We got a, we, most cordon blues are breaded and they have this incredible uh, topping. So we're going to talk about that in just a moment. But right now I want to show you this amazing. Bring it on over here. Um, this sauce. Look at that Woo, mushroom sauce. That looks so good. So we um, have partnered with our friends at Pacific Foods. Yes. If you guys don't know Pacific Foods, um, which I'm sure you do, it is. Uh, they are just incredible. They have the most amazing soups and broths yes, and stocks and, so and, and um, all organic and just delicious. Incredible. So let me tell you how I made this. This sauce is going to go over the sliced cordon bleu meatloaf once we uh, get it finished. Fabulous. All I did was I just got that nice large skillet and then I sauteed some about eight ounces of sliced mushrooms in a little butter and some olive oil. Let that cook down until the, you know, the mushrooms started to release their liquid. And then it was so easy. I just hit it with a little salt, a little pepper, and then I put it in that or it's organic cream of mushroom condensed, condensed soup. soup yes Pacific Foods does all the heavy lifting for you so, so loaded with flavor they use the freshest ingredients it's so good all I had to do and then I just wanted to thin it up just a little bit so that's I so added neat. a half a cup of whole milk, milk yeah and um, that's it you know you may want to season it a little more with a little Yay. salt and pepper but but that's it and then you can keep it you know on the stove and then just reheat it when you're ready to serve awesome okay so now 
Like I said, uh, Kia, uh, not Kiev, uh, Cordon Bleu. It, it has, has a, a nice coating on it. So this is some more of crumbs. that fabulous breadcrumbs that we've got. All we're going to yes. do is we're just, I've melted three tablespoons of unsalted butter. And you can do this while it's cooking, no yeah. problem, uh, because it's going to stay. And then I've got uh, just this, probably a couple tablespoons of Parmesan, Parmesan cheese. Parmesan, panko, and butter. And that's all. Lord. Deliciousness. <laughs> Deliciousness in a bowl. Okay, so that butter, it's just soaked into that, those breadcrumbs. Yeah. And it's going to adhere to that chicken yes. beautifully. And so what, what's going to happen is when this is done, it, when it hits 20, we're going to take it out, we're going to take those breadcrumbs and we're going to spread it all over the top. And then we're going to get them nice and brown for like another five minutes. Stick it back in and let it finish off. And then we're going to eat it. Yes. I love it. Okay, okay. folks. Okay, it's off. Oh, it's ready. Yes. It's done. Okay, so let's go. Let's just go back just a little bit. So we let this go Before for... we let the big reveal. The big reveal. Oh, it's there ready. it is. So it, it went for 20 minutes, and then we opened up the drawer, and we just took the, those panko breadcrumbs that we added with the Shush. butter. and the, Shh, be quiet. Uh, you've <laughs> been very good. Uh, then we just, you know, it's kind of like a meatloaf, you know, when you add that you glaze. Put a crusty you top just put a it. nice crusty top. You, you know, I... It, it's hard to get it to adhere to the sides, and plus it's a little warm, you know, so just kind of do it on top. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay, are we ready. ready for the big reveal? All right, let's do it. <laughs> okay, come on, baby. Oh, my. That is beautiful. That is a piece of art. Isn't that, that amazing? That Wonderful. is just spectacular. You need your little gloves. Well, I think I'm, I'm pretty tough. All right. So do grab this so side, I've been told. this side. Here, I'll help you. Okay, here we go. And then this, this, this helps you lift it right out. Perfect. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Yay. Look at that, folks. Now, like I said, some of these breadcrumbs are going to fall to the side. There's, that's no problem whatsoever. <laughs> All right. And We're gonna... doing this on live TV, folks. So <laughs> I'm just going to kind of help help me here, Loon. Yeah. Let's just get this off of here. It's gorgeous. Yeah. I think we're doing good. Let's do it from this side. This is always, you know, the trickier. Not, it's not really tricky. There you, you just, go. Is it coming right off? Yeah. Okay, slide her out. You got to lift it up. Let's lift. take this one off. Lift it. Oh, okay. You want me to just completely yeah. lift it? All right. Okay, there, there we go. go. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Fabulous. Gorgeous. Look at that. Perfectly, I mean. Oh, I got breadcrumbs everywhere. That's okay. I'm it's leaving okay. breadcrumbs just in case I go missing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's why we never have breadcrumbs in the house. Okay. So, all right. That's beautiful. Now, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. This is, isn't this a beautiful, beautiful um, piece of art? And yes. so the thing is, folks, oh, look at that. Look at the cheese. It just cooked. Let me see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, baby. Oh, that looks great. That is so amazing. And it's so, I mean, I'm just, I'm just going to do a few of these. Okay. And then, you know, what you do is you can just, oh, that cheese. You guys, are you seeing this? Are you seeing this? I hope, I hope so. I hope the folks at home can see this. Okay, so I'm just going to put this right here. Wow, 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 I'm making a little bit of a mess, sorry. I'm not doing a very good job of plating, Wesley. That's okay, I'm getting set up over here. Okay, so now we just, you know, what you do is you just put this on a beautiful plate like this. Obviously, we would have, let me cut one more of these. Yes! It's just, um, so beautiful. Well, I could have done a better job, but that's okay. Okay, come on. <laughs> mm. All right, come on over here. I'll give you one more. This is so nice. Actually, let's do this. Let me take this. Let's pour some. Yeah. Let me take this away and okay. then put this in its place. Okay. And you pour some of that lovely gravy on top of it. Yeah, I didn't do a very good job of plating. <laughs> um, you know, you can carefully, but look how look at the the, the cheese and the oh. Yeah. Here, okay. Actually, this is a good way. And so now right we're going there. to just. Well, look. Okay, let me do it this way. So we're going to just pour some of this amazing. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> wow. Okay. Oh, Lord, I'm you know, excited. We don't ever hold back here at How to Feed a Loon, I can tell you that much. If you're going to do it, you might as well do it right. Oh. Now, that is comfort food on a plate. Yay. Okay, what did you do with my spatula? Oh, I okay. threw it away. Mm, thanks. Well, great. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so give me a little bit there. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, that is so beautiful. I'm just so excited for this. This is so great. And that sauce with Pacific Foods. Oh. Cannot wait. Look at that. Okay. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that sauce. Look at that. <gasps> and that was geez. what? So, uh, not even 30 minutes? No. <sighs> He's going in, folks. <laughs> oh, I hope it doesn't. Oh, it's hot. 
<laughs> it's a cordon bleu mm. meatloaf. It's a meatloaf of cordon bleu. Oh, so good. Mm. I know. That is so good. <laughs> Look at that. Isn't it crazy? Look at how wonderful that looks. Oh, all the... Yes! And all right. The cheese and the ham yeah, and the... Yeah, well, hold on. I need a little no, more. No, he's going in for more. All right. right. Oh, I can't believe how quickly that comes together, too. And I know. And what's about talking about that mushroom sauce? Mm, that mushroom sauce. I couldn't imagine that without it. Yeah. No, it's, it all goes together it's perfectly. It's so nice and rich. Mm. And just... Mm, and the... And the chicken. The earthiness chicken. of those mushrooms yeah. with the chicken. Oh! This is 100% Luna Proof! Yay! Yay! You Cordon should try Blue. some of this. I'm going to. Oh. I can hardly wait. Oh, oh wow. Now, you can get this recipe on howtofeataloon.com. And many more. Yes, and many more. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Oh, my God. So, oh, mm. I love meatloaf. I love chicken cordon bleu. <laughs> I love this chicken cordon bleu meatloaf. You're right. Go to our social media, like us, share us, do all of that, and please, Hug you us. guys, you gotta make that, make this sauce. Go get some Pacific food. Yes. Um, it's so amazing. Grab oh my some God. ham, grab some cheese, and just roll it up and some chicken. Have a party. Oh wow, that is really good. <laughs> Bye everybody. Bye everybody. We gotta have this almost uh, every day. I know. Hey everybody. Hey. <laughs> now, if you like what you saw, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's right, and to get more amazing recipes like yeah. this, just click right here. Click, subscribe, <laughs> click, click it all. Subscribe. Just click and subscribe. <laughs>